assalamu alaikum and uh, yesterday uh, the first class of the biostats we learned about the total credit allocation of the biostats course and the, then we learned about the what is the actual definition of the biostats and what is the, uh, the definition of the statics and what is the difference between the math and statics uh, what is the uh, population and the sample size and what is are the data or the variables and what are the different types of the statics and uh, why uh, we need uh, to use uh, of the uh, need to learn about the biostats and what is it is help out to the medical profession if they will be enough competent in the biostats course so uh, today we will go to learn about the uh, more in detail about the uh, population and the sample as i told you uh, as you as i uh, explained in the previous lecture that the population is the entire uh, area of the interest uh, of the people you are included for your research project or for your investigation that this is called the population if you select the subset if you sub if you select the subset of the uh, subset from the that particular populations uh, that it is called the sample just like I gave the example yesterday that the um, uh, around 1 lakh 10,000 uh, registered nurses are registered in the Pakistan if you want to conduct the study of the entire population of the nurses which is are in the uh, within the uh, locality of the Pakistan it is a very tough for you so definitely you will go uh, to select the 5,000 or 10,000 nurses for your study project so it is a very easier for you or is it very convenient for you so the 5,000 which is you will go to select from the 1 lakh 10,000 nurses which is registered in the Pakistan this is the sample size for your study project so it is the some example of the population and some example of the sample has been given over here to uh, to make a more uh, clear view about the concept of the population and the uh, sample so if the anyone who wants to uh, see the average monthly income of the household in the pakistan so the average monthly if anyone wants to conduct the study he wants to see uh, the average monthly income of the household in the pakistan so the average monthly income of the household in Pakistan it is the population means he wants to see the overall the average of monthly income in the overall of the Pakistan if he has been if he has selected the thousand household from from the Pakistan from all over the Pakistan thousand household uh, uh, and he, he will segmentize uh, the proportion of the household uh, according to the population of the provinces and select the 1000 household to see the uh, month, uh, average monthly income of the Pakistan see these 1000 selected house uh, selected 1000 household from the entire population of the average monthly income of the household of the Pakistan this is the sample size now the second example if the any other for any other investigator or researcher he wants to see the uh, the household in the Karachi in which the um, uh, one family member has been died in the last one year so you uh, you see that uh, entire uh, to make the investigations or to uh, conduct the survey of the entire uh, uh, Karachi is a very uh, uh, difficult so uh, if so the any person who wants to see the uh, he selected the 500 household in the in, in the whole uh, Karachi from the whole Karachi this is become a uh, sample the 500 household which is he has been selected from the entire uh, locality of the Karachi this is the sample size if the, so if the anyone who wants to see the proportion of the household the proportion of the household or the percentage of the household or the number of the household who has been uh, the one family member has been dying in the last one year this is the uh, tell us about the characteristic of the population uh, now the second one uh, the third one is say uh, what are the 
uh, how many the numbers of the TB patient in the Pakistan, the whole TB number, uh, TB uh, number of the TB patient in the Pakistan, it is the population. If you selected 2,500 TB patient from the different TB center of the Pakistan, this is the sample. Now, the, if if you want, anyone wants to conduct a study, wants to see, uh, conduct a survey and see that the uh, the patient, uh, the all the patient who has been visited, uh, visited for the healthcare access in the uh, in the PIMS hospital in 2019, the the, the entire uh, number of the patient in the 2019 visited to the PIMS hospital, it is the population. If the anyone who selected the 5,000 patient who who visited, those are visited in the 2018 in the PIMS hospital. This is the sample size. Now, if you see the uh, what's the uh, as I uh, we discussed yesterday in the lecture about the parameter and the statistics. As I told you that the parameter is the major measure the characteristic of the population. It is called the parameter. If you want to measure the characteristic of the sample, it is called the statistics. So the average monthly income, if you want to see the average monthly income is the parameters. Means that any person who wants to see the, uh, the uh, wants to conduct the study or wants to measure the uh, average monthly income of the household of the Pakistan, it is means it is the characteristic. He wants to measure the characteristic of the uh, entire population or entire household of the Pakistan. And the pro proportion or the percentage of the household in the Karachi in which the one family member has been died in the last one year, the proportion of the household in which one family member has been died in the last one year, it is the again is the characteristic. Uh, measurement of the population, so it is called the pyramid. And the, if anyone wants to see the prevalence of the TB patient in the Pakistan, it is again is the uh, uh, measurement, the characteristic of the entire population of the TB patient in the Pakistan. So it is the prevalent. It is again is the uh, uh, parameters. And the per percentage of the patients uh, which is visited in the uh, in the 2019 in the PIMS hospital, this is again the uh, is the measurement of the characteristic uh, of those patients who have been visited to the PIMS hospital in 2019. This is again is the parameter. If you the same thing, if you are going to be measured in the sample size and the sample size, the same. Uh, characteristic if you want to measure of the the selected sample size of the different examples this is called the statics so the statics now the statics is the broader uh, it is uh, categorized in two broad uh, types of the uh, biostates the one is called the descriptive statics the second one is called the inferential statics and descriptive statics uh, uh, you collect the information and uh, after the collecting the information you classify the information then definitely you will go to or, or, or organize and arrange the data or information and then uh, the, after the organizing uh, and arranging the data you definitely go for the summarization of the data after the summarization data you use the different type of the uh, uh, through the formula through the different type of the test you will come up with some certain result and then the, for the, that result then definitely you will go to interpret it to make a more easier for the uh, to under uh, to it is a readable to understandable the concept of that result what this, this result is actually says it is called the interpretation it is the last uh, uh, last uh, methods of the statistics so in the descriptive static you collect the information just you goes to uh, after the collection of the data you uh, summarize it organize it and you describe the that information or the data in the numbers in the proportion in the percentage or uh, in the frequency table and also you display it in the graphical in the bar chart in the pie chart to make a uh, easier to understand for the reader and for the uh, for the reviewers. So in the descriptive statics you only describe the data or the information and the, and the numbers, in the proportion, in the percentage and in the uh, 
uh, and, the, uh, and the other frequency tables. The second types of the uh, uh, the second uh, branch of the biostates or statics is called the inferential statics. In the inferential statics, you collect the information. You collect the information, but in this stage, you analyze the data. Means in this uh, uh, inferential statics, you collect the information. You uh, collect the information, classify it, organizing, arranging it, and the summarization at it and then you will come up with this some certain result but by this uh, coming with the certain result you by using the some statical test in the analyzing of the data you will go to estimate it you estimate the data you estimate your uh, hypothesis and then the last one you will prove in the inferential static you prove your hypothesis you prove your research question so in inferential static you collect the information, uh, summarization, organizing, and the data, and you will come up with the result. But you will go to analyze the data, and the, after the analyzing of the data, you estimate it, estimate it uh, the data, and you will go to prove your hypothesis and research question in the inferential statics. So this is the two different uh, branches of the uh, 